Circumcise our hearts in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Ancient of days, all that we are going to do now, please just come and have your way. Amen. Glorify yourself. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're just going to exalt ourselves in the next few minutes. Uh, let us pray. Our dear righteous Father, we thank you. Thank you for the journey of about 65 years. Thank you for those of us who are alive today. As we go into your word very briefly, Father, speak to us. Amen. Like I exalted during the service of song, it is not about mommy anymore, but it's about each and every one of us that is alive today. Father, as we reflect on the continuation of our journey here on earth, speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I'll speak to us very briefly on the text of Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. It is appointed unto man once to die. But after that, judgment. Life is a journey, and we are going through the transiting period. Like our pastor that gave the exhortation in church said, small stuff from one pastor to another. And during the service of song, I did mention about uh, about the during the service of song, I did mention about a life of purpose, living our life on purpose, and to God be the glory. It was the same text of Ecclesiastes chapter three that our pastor in charge of those used in exhorting us today. So I want us to take a deep reflection today. We are all here to be mommy of power, but we are alive. So take deep reflection about our journey. We have opportunity to reconcile ourselves to our maker while we are alive. We have the opportunity right now to make amend and make adjustments in the area of our lives that need perfection with God. Our text in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says it is appointed unto man to die but once, once. So this is just a journey that happened once in a lifetime. Two significant aspects of our life today we're giving back to and a day like this. When you're giving back to, why the baby is crying? Everybody is rejoicing in the family that they have gotten a new baby or a new addition to the family. But a day like this, that same baby of years ago, 65 years ago, is about to be lowered into the grave. People are shed in tears, but the, the, the pastor so is rejoicing that I am in a better place. So this is an opportunity for us as I close this brief exhortation to reflect deeply on that text of Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. That it is appointed unto you and I, man, a man, a woman, to die. I was in a cemetery to conduct a service like this, and I saw where we were conducting the, uh, the, the, the funeral for the adult, and I saw they were also conducting funeral for a little baby, not too far. It is appointed unto man to die. I pray, may your own appointed time be a glorious one in Jesus' name. 
and in your own appointed time be the one that will bring glory to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to use this opportunity for those that are just joining us. If I are you are not giving your life to Jesus. One of the things I said during the service of song, I said the best gift you can give to money by and job at this point in time is to give your life to Jesus. So that in that memory, say, oh, in the day that we came for this funeral service of Mommy Oluwa Tony, Banjo, you know, I said during the exhibition, I gave the message during her 60th birthday, we celebrated, hoping that 55 July of this month, uh, of this year, 8th of July, is going to be uh, next birthday, that will be post, uh, this day, not just birthday. But I pray this very hour, as I said during the service of song, that it's a gift, a gift of giving your life to Christ. A gift of surrendering your life to him. So in the next few minutes, as I as we bow our head, if you want to give your life to Jesus, for those that are just joining us, the same message came during the service. Just in one minute, take that decision. Or you want to rededicate your life to him because of a day like this. That sooner than later, a day like this is coming. It's a debt that we all have to pay. Except if the rapture is taking place, I will just need to just go like that. You want to rededicate your life wherever you are, as your heads are bowed, as I pray now. Please just take that decision right now. But you want to give your life to him. It's a moment of deep reflection for those of us who are alive. For those of us who have the opportunity to go through the journey here on earth. Mommy has got into her own final buster, and she is in a better place to be to live right now. You want to give your life to him. Take that decision right now as I pray with you. You are rededicating your life. Take that decision right now as I pray with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the word that we have received. Thank you because we know that there are people that look among us right now that are rededicating their life and they have taken that decision to surrender their life unto you. Father, we pray for the grace for them to walk with you in holiness, in righteousness, in perfection, Father, give unto them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we continue finally with this service, Father, continue with us. Amen. And as our Father in the Lord will be taking over from here right now, as our interest, the Father will speak to us. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Decide what is going to happen to you. It's left for you, it's left for me. Either to move in the right way. I love the message of my dinner pastor the other time. For the two children, the father said good night. But the last one, he said bye bye. That to see is never going to happen. That when he said good night, which means there is another money. Mm. All of you, there is another money, there is another money for you. So let's be prepared. You can come at any time. Death has no respect for anybody. He has no respect for who? For anybody. No matter whom you are, no matter how powerful you are, no matter how rich you are, no matter how worthy you are, when it comes. Okay, for me, I have decided for long. I will never turn to another place than to face him. And when the time comes, welcome my son. And that will be what we speak for you to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now it is time now. Do the entrance. Please. 
plan that is born of a woman. She's a few days on earth and full of troubles. She grows and is huge down as the flower of grass. It passes away like a shadow without pain. In the midst of life, we stay in death. From whom shall we seek help? But from you, our Lord, who is justified to be annoyed because of our sins. Lord, God, Most High, Almighty God, Holy Savior, and the Most Merciful, do not put us in painful agony of everlasting death. I think we will say amen. 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 Lord, you know the secret things of our hearts. Do not be deaf unto our prayers. Amen. Most holy God, holy Savior, and most merciful God, fear us. Amen. You are the most righteous judge. Do not allow us fall away from you because of death. Amen. The boat is not. There is nothing like sand for sand. Ashes for ashes. This for this. The only thing you can do, really, if you have a flower, you give it to her. Don't follow, don't follow. Don't fall. And as we are moving, the God will be doing like this. We are shaking like this. Shaking like this. Do you know the meaning? The meaning is who's next? Who's next? Maybe you are. Maybe I am. Are you with me? Therefore, please. Walk here. Tell you, my people. When my own child comes, So that I will, I will never come to this world and be lost to the world. As it pleases the Almighty God in His great mercy to receive the soul of this dear sister, Sister Oluwatoin Van Jong. Who has left this place and of a fact without without doubting the hope of resurrection into life everlasting through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall transform our poor bodies into his own likeness, which is glorious. According to his mighty words, by which he will contemplate all principalities by himself. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, All right, blessed are the dead. Blessed are the dead. We die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea. That they may rest 
from their neighbors and their works with the Lord. Please let us pray. Holy Father, King of Glory, this is an end of an era. For we trust you, O God, that give our life with us pleased to keep us till this time. Lord, we stand together as family, friends, and church concerning every member of this family. And as a family of, of God, we are asking that death will be far away from each and every one of you. Amen. Particularly for those who are saying amen. I pray that, that the hand of the Lord will keep and preserve you in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. There shall be no death in succession in our family any longer. Amen. We are asking, oh God, when we need a mother, Lord, you will be our mother. Amen. When we need a wife, you will be our wife. Amen. Oh, when we need a grandmother, you will be our grandmother. Amen. When we need a sister, you will be our sister. Amen. I commit the family unto you, Lord. Sickness will be far away from you. Amen. Danger shall be far away from you. Amen. Trouble shall be far away from you. Amen. As mountains surround Jerusalem, the Lord will build a wall of fire around about everyone saying an amen. amen. In the name of Jesus amen. Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. So we have come to the end of everything. The next thing is to say good night. It's not bye-bye. <laughs> so the best we can do is just to wait and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. the love of God Amen. the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. abide with us now and forevermore Amen. Amen. surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.